I became a professional bodybuilder when I was 16 years and uh, right now I'm 18. Uh, since the past two years I've competed in uh, three national competitions and uh, I'm going for Asia uh, in this August. So that will be my first competition outside India. Two, one, two, three, four, five. I was 13 when my mom told me I was getting chubby and all and then I got really conscious about that. So I didn't know anything about health and fitness. So what I did was crash dieting and a lot of cardio. And of course I lost a lot of weight, but I didn't look good. I was very skinny, anorexic, and I don't know, I, I didn't look good. So that's when I was told that I should be doing some weight training by a professional guy. So I went to this gym and I started lifting weights and I fell in love with it. Now, I didn't care about the results, but I just loved the fact about lifting the weights because every time I lifted a weight, I felt I was getting stronger. 10, 11, 12, 12, 13. I felt empowered. <laughs> I felt so different from the others in a good way. I mean, I didn't, uh, I didn't mind that I was different from the other girls. In fact, it made me feel better. Like, I knew I was stronger than them and I liked the fact that the other guys were intimidated by me. It kind of made me feel happy. Initially, uh, my parents were not supportive and my friends would make fun of it. Every time I dress up, you know, put makeup and wear saris, people are like, it's, it's a guy who's trying to be a girl. <laughs> Why do you even do that? If, if you want to be a guy dressed like a guy, I keep telling them, look, I don't want to be a guy. I want to be a girl who's strong. I, it's not that women cannot have muscles. Of course they can, we all have muscles, we all have that anatomy. I just work for it. But that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna wear dresses, I'm not gonna put on makeup. I'll do everything a girl does, except that I'm stronger than the other girls. Being a bodybuilder, it takes a lot of time. At least five years. People often take 10 to 15 years to get there. People have this uh, thinking that bodybuilders work out like throughout the day for seven hours or eight hours, it's not like that. We only work out in one to two hours, but we put in all our efforts. We lift as much as we can, we exhort ourselves. That's it. And what's more important than lifting the weights is the food that we take. In the morning, I, I might have like two to three potatoes with uh, five eggs. And after that, uh, maybe two hours after that, I'd have a plate full of rice with chicken. <laughs> and after that, uh, I'd again have a plate full of rice with chicken. <laughs> then, um, then, well, we have some pre and post workouts, like, you know, protein shake or maybe mass gainer. Well, at night, we would have a little less of carbs. Still, we have chicken with everything. Oh yeah, we get bored of chicken, eventually. <laughs> we don't want to have it anymore. <laughs> you know, there's something called the off-season and on-season. So there's, there's a time where we try to eat as much as we can. That's when we try to put on as much as muscles. After that, there's this on season we, where we try to lean down and get into our best shape before the show. Uh, so it's like we have two completely different seasons. One where, where we almost starve ourselves and one where we eat so much that we cannot eat anymore. <laughs> I don't believe that there is a peak. I mean, you can always strive to be better and look, I just begun so I know I'll have to keep on improving and even when you get to the best of the best level, you still cannot stop improving. So there is nothing called the peak.